Hey, what's up, y'all? Gary, one-tenth. Today we're gonna look at how to install the Boko RC servo and axle for the RedCat Gen 8 portals. Let's get into it. All right, so here's everything you should get with your Boko RC Gen 8 portal servo and axle mount adapter kit thingy. You should get the actual servo mount, long M3 screw, and th uh, nylon lock nut and three M2 screws. So the um, mount actually uses one, two, three of the diff cover screws. So um, first thing to do is pop one of these guys off on the top and I'm gonna move it down to the bottom just so the diff cover doesn't pop off on me right away. But essentially all you're gonna have to do is take out these three diff screws here you can leave the bottom ones on, but take out the three on the top from the factory. And then the mount will slide right onto top of the axle, utilizing these three holes, one, two, three, to secure to the front of the axle. And I'm just gonna kinda put a couple in here real quick. You'll wanna put all three in and secure them all the way down. I'm just gonna snug them up a little bit so it'll stay while I show you the rest. But you're gonna put all three of the diff cover screws in and that will lock the diff cover back in place and provide some support for the servo on axle mount. So we'll get that in there. So that's gonna provide your front and back side to side support and then also the back here you'll notice that this side is spaced out and that's because red cat actually put the uh link mount about an eighth three something millimeters off center not sure why they did that maybe they were trying to counteract the bump steer or something like that i'm not sure but if you four link without this little nub on the side here your axle is actually going to be just kind of crooked um because this is off center not sure if that was an oversight or intentional but uh, this is definitely off center from the ends of the pumpkin. So this link mount is offset to compensate for that. And then really you're just going to take your links and you will put them straight onto the axle like so. And then I included a, a relatively long screw because the stock Red Cat Gen 8 pivot balls are pretty wide. These are the axial ones, so they're, you know, 7, 7.5 millimeter. Um, so you may need a shorter screw depending on the size of your pivot balls on the back here, but I do include a long one just in case you're using some of the stock Red Cats that are really wide. But, uh, but yeah, slap your two links on um, right there. And then you're actually going to gain a little bit of extra strength too because you're not going to be relying on that uh, plastic mount there um, to support the links. You're actually going to be relying on the steel plate here. So, um, so yeah, put the two links in, tighten that down, and then slap everything back on the axle and you are going to have significantly better handling with your Red Cat portals uh, on whatever platform you put them on. So there you go. Red Cat Gen 8 portal, Boko RC, servo on axle mount. Probably one of the easiest installs we've got. Y'all take it easy.